A newer file format over GIF and JPEG is the ping file format. PNG, or Portable Network Graphics, is like a marriage between both GIF and JPEG formats, thanks to two different variations that you can use. I'll go ahead and open my Save for the Web dialog box, and we'll look at this pineapple image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Ping 8. Ping 8 is very similar to GIF in many ways. It uses the same 256 color palette, which is the maximum number of colors. You can reduce it down, just like you can with GIF. And you have many of the same options as you do with the GIF file format. I'm not going to go into all of these because really they're identical as what we looked at with the GIF file format. So if you're interested in any of these other settings, please review the GIF video since they really mimic exactly what happens with GIF. The other format that we have available is the Ping24 format, and this allows you to render images with millions of colors. It's more like JPEG, but it does offer the ability to preserve transparency. Let's go ahead and open up one of the images that has the drop shadow. Here's our pineapple image with the drop shadow. I'll open up my Save for the Web dialog box, and here you can clearly see the image rendering out with its drop shadow. I'll change the formatting to the Ping 8. If we select Ping 8, it's going to be, again, very similar to what we looked at with the GIF. But if I change it to Ping 24, I get something that really mimics the original, where I have the ability to save out partial transparency. Ping24 is a lossless format file type. You're likely to get much larger files, but the image quality is going to also be greatly improved. If you want to have an image that needs to save partial transparency, Ping24 is really your only option. The options that you have with Ping24 are to include transparency or not, to interlace the image, which will allow the image to come in in the multiple passes, and to embed the color profile. Unlike JPEG and GIF, when you turn on interlacing, the file size does increase with the Ping 24s. So notice the difference in file size. I'm going from 245 without it to 277 with it. That's a pretty considerable amount of difference. If we compare a Ping to a very high quality JPEG, Obviously the JPEG is not going to support the transparency. Let's just get rid of the transparency on the ping. You can see that the file size though is a lot bigger. So really the quality of these two images is almost identical, but the file size goes from 74 kilobytes with the JPEG to just over 219 with the ping. Ping is an excellent option if you need the transparency, but I don't recommend using it for images that are going to have solid color backgrounds because you can usually get equivalent quality settings and much smaller file sizes. One other advantage on the ping file format is since it's not using the lossless compression settings, you can edit the files without any sort of diminished qualities. So if you have an image where you're going to require re-editing and re-exporting or you want to support partial transparency, then the Ping 24 is going to be your best option. The Ping 8 is so similar to the GIF file format, I feel that you could just use one or the other. I generally use GIF since it's a little more widely accepted on the web. But with that being said, knowing all of the different file formats and knowing which one to use to get the best results is definitely important when you're going to be a web developer.